to lock the eccentric onto the crankshaft of the little steam engine normally I'll just put a couple of cap head grub screws in but what I want to do is make a square headed bolt uh, they would use a square headed bolt in the day I've seen pictures of old steam engines and that's exactly what they used I've got a bit of square steel here, it's actually it's an old tip tool that ends being broken off it and I'm going to make it out of that turn it down, I'm actually going to thread it quarter BSF instead of 6mm but also I think I might try take raising a tip on it of either brass or maybe even a bit of copper on the end of it just so it doesn't it doesn't damage the the crankshaft anyway we'll square the end up turn it down it should be it should machine all right I can't see it being anything spectacular because this is where the four door chuck's going to come in handy for gripping Dripping square square items, I suppose. Anyway, yeah. start the lead off slow. It's been standing all weekend just to. Get the oil around the gears a little bit under the bearings before we start to put some revs onto it. Bit like revving the arsenal of a car when it's cold, it doesn't do them any good. That feels like decent material. Turned out the quarter, which is six two five. Right, six two five. Sorry, two fifty. That's quarter. I managed to put a little bit of silicon bronze onto the end of this onto the end of this bolt. All I want to try and do is make it so it won't damage the crankshaft when you tighten it up. You can see that with a focus on it. Try and get a die down it now. not the best die in the world I can assure you but it has put threads on it 
where a phone would appear to be a better, better die. Certainly feels better. Maybe I need to do those. Machine the very end of it nice and straight. Sort of brass contact tip on it. I'm just going to knock the corners up with a file just to make it look. I'll make it look good, well, that's a good, I'll make it look like somebody really cares what they're doing. This needs drilling and tapping. Quarter BSF to take the little bolt we've just made. So I need to find the centre of it first. It and it stops and then just when it kicks off zero the axis cut to the other side same again Until it stops moving, it'll kick off. There. Then our distance of 55.72, we'll call it 56. After 56 is 28. Right, and that should be the middle. And it actually looks in the middle. If it looks in the middle, you know it's going to be right. The eyeball is centre that way. And that looks excellent. We'll drill that and tap it, whatever size tap and drill for a quarter BSF, maybe. Right, I've got a tap and chart, and it says a tap and drill. A quarter BSF is 5.3 mil, and the nearest I've got to that is a number two number drill, which is 5.35. I'm sure that will do the job. It's not, it's a number three number drill. The first thing I've used a variable speed drive on the mill machine. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to using it actually. Right, 
Right, this BSF tap I've got looks quite reasonable and this has got a jog facility on it so I'm wondering whether I should try tapping it using the machine right we'll give it a try It's certainly started. Right, discretion being the better part of Valor. It has got a centre in there. I'm just going to tap it by hand. I just don't want to snap a tap off on there after all that work. In hindsight, I could have just done this 6 million. Nobody would have known except me, but we'll try and keep it authentic. This is the spring loaded tap follower I got from the Bozzy Summer Bash. It's the first time I've actually tried to use it. And by the feel of that tap, I'm pleased I decided not to, to do this under power. I'm just making hard work of this. Okay, we'll try the bolt on the wood. Very good. I've looked at quite a few old pictures of similar steam engines to this, and this is the, the sort of locking bolt they've got under the onto the crankshaft but then we'll have a little little bronze tip on the board it'll stop it from damaging the crank I mean once it once the timing's set that's it it's it's set for good you know yeah, quite pleased with that little burr on the inside to take out and it'll rag there excuse me I'm scrape on it scrape the a little rag off where the, the drill broke through. I do the tool for the job. Feels nice. Right, we'll try it on. It's a good fit on the shaft. That's going to lock it on there nicely. And the beauty is, it doesn't put a mark on the crank where you tighten it up because the end of the bolt is actually softer material than the crankshaft. This is getting fairly near to a stage now where it could be it could be run. I've got a cylinder end cover to make. They're not called cylinder heads, I call cylinder end covers on steam engines. I've got the con rod all, all that's done. I've got the eccentric cap, the valve rod. I've got some hooves to blank off in the crankshaft. But basically that's that side of it's all done, the bottom end's done. I rolled a bit of cast iron this week and we'll try and get a, a cylinder cover done for it. Be nice to get this running uh, to be able to take it away at the steam rallies and run it off Richard's 
run it off the boiler and Richard sent to a steam wagon. And it will be quite a nice little thing to have. Lovely. Very pleased with that. Head on for Houston. No Appreciate meeting you. And if yeah. you're ever coming through there, you don't need a hotel. Email got, got some new videos. Send an email. Oh, we'll sort you out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Be nice to meet you. Thanks yeah. very much. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. I would imagine right down to the blue, however deep that is in there. It's probably into the cardboard and paper there. Yeah, it's probably true, yeah. about there. Forty that we got for it. Now will this cut faster than that? Uh, it won't cut faster. No, it'll leave a smoother finish.
Absolutely. An air-conditioned hall. Then you wouldn't have to worry with getting overheated. Well, this well, is what you do, Harold. Yeah. Like that Houston machine is clogged. The Dallas club together, and maybe some people from Arkansas or, or wherever. Yeah. yeah. And have one in the Dallas area, or even Branson, Missouri. Yeah. And I'm not a club kind of guy. I don't. I don't know the guys in this machine club. I've been to the meetings a couple of times. But, uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, but that would be neat if it could happen. That would be great. Well, I've been to the meetings before, but I think I'm not a close friend of that. We have a lot of fun in our club. We do a show and tell. Yeah, they can do that. I don't know. It's just, I don't know, 540? Yeah, 540. Yeah, you need to open up your store there. Appreciate it. You're back with a long brother that far, wasn't it? Not really. That was me pushing it. Well, Earl enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm going to take this up there. I appreciate you every time. We'll see you around. See you later. Yes, sir. Take it easy. Bye. Once again, it just remains to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in towards my wife, Deb, and my dad. Thanks very much. Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Well, I'm actually cheating because it's Friday night because I'm going away in the morning to a steam rally uh, with Richard across in Cumbria. I was going to say, if you're actually across there, why not come and see us and say hello and shake me hand. But really, I'm not going to be watching this until Sunday night, by which time I should be hopefully on my way back home. So I will basically start again. <laughs>